I ain't selling one my kingdom first and foremost. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Rahach, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the pastor and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect that teaches the word now true, faith, and sincerity. And yeah, today, I just want to get into a lesson on how pretty much, you know, this devil is on his, he's pretty much, uh, he's boxed off in the corner, man. You know, and it shows better with his laws and his legislations. You know, you got this word mandatory been thrown around a lot more. You know, and what he pushes on the media, man. You know, this just further proves that the so-called white man is going down to the uh, um, saying, you know, a hit dog bark. You know, if you were such a, uh, uh, you was that established, you know, in that st strong of a nation and, and this beast system as a whole, but you, you reaching now. You trying to convince the people to trust you, you know, all your lies and your your deceit that you have pushed throughout the planet Earth is is, is now a matter of fact. Because this is what is uh, this is why Esau is pretty much um is trouble in the mind, man. See, this is the first step of this man going down. You know. Him being played in the mind by the way of these, uh, this truth coming out, man. You know, everything that pretty much, uh, you know, kept his head above water, you know, was by the way of deception and the sword, man. And we see that deception is being put out the earth now by the way of this truth. So this is uh, 2 Edges chapter 6 and 27. It said, for evil shall be put out. And deceit shall be quenched. See, and how is it being quenched? How is the evil being put out? By the way of this word, man. You know, this word has rested on the planet Earth, man. And this devil can't hide no what now. It tells you that they're gonna, um, they're gonna try to hide. They're gonna meet in darkness in the daytime. So now this man and his wicked devices are being revealed, man. And this is gonna be one of the reasons why. You know, he coming down with great wrath because he was able to run circles around the people for centuries, man. But now in the time when he really needs you to bite on it, nobody ain't biting on it. Why? Because this truth is here, man. You know, and, and he know that he, he's on a time limit. It's not like he can do this with gradualism now. You see, things are now ramping up. It's speeding up. Why? He know that he had but a short time. You got just simple niggas catching on to what he's doing now. Just a regular old nigga, uh, American, you know, some old Babylonian. They know about the Illuminati now, man. That's common knowledge now, man. And that was one of the biggest strongholds that this man had was dwelling in the shroud of secrecy. But now since this truth came, deception is being, is, is being, uh, is being quenched. It said, as for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. See, you see corruption... Is being overcome. It said, "In the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared." See, so now the truth is out here, you know. And this is what um, this is why this devil is um, uh, pretty much he's troubled, man. You know, because all this time, money, and resources that this man put into number one, keeping us from who we was. You know, and everything else that came with it, man. You know? That's why it tells you, matter of fact, uh, what it is, uh, they're going to stand in great fear. You know? The enemies of hell, and they're going to stand in great fear when we stand up in those days in Revelation 11 chapter, man. This is why this man is troubled, man. And he that, that, and that's the, that's the countdown, you know? That's the countdown, man. And he knows that. So let's get this real quick. Isaiah chapter uh, 57 and 20. It says, but the wicked are like the troubled sea. See? Why he why he's troubled, man? Because he got this message. See, the message end up going to the gates of no. Matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Isaiah 13. Isaiah 13 and 2. 
and said, Lift ye up a banner upon the high mountain, exalt the voice unto them. See? Meaning what? We we pretty much uh lifting up this banner, by the way, of these scriptures, and we measuring, you know, this devil in this kingdom by the way of the scriptures, man. And we exalting the voice unto him, man. See, we were proving this man for everything he's doing, man. You know? That's why the corruption is being overcome. That's why the deception is being quenched. He's not lining up. He's not, uh, uh, you know, lining up to a certain standard with the scriptures laid out. He's actually lining up with the wicked will be doing, man. Because he is the wicked, man. But we exalt the voice unto him, man. It says, shake the hand that they may go into the gates of the nobles, see? And that's what pretty much this message have gotten to the elites, man. You know, this, 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 this message, you know, has gotten to the elites, man, that their time is up, that we, we coming into a new phase and a new age, a new regime is being set up. It tells you that, um, in Psalms, the 50th chapter, I will set them in order before thine eyes, man, you know? So this is the message that this man got, and that's why he's troubled. Matter of fact, just bad that up. St. Matthew 2. And uh Yeah, St. Matthew 2, and I just started at one. It says, Now when Yahweh was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his start in the east. And I come to worship him. See, so pretty much those wise men came speaking of a king, a, a regime, you know, a new era, pretty much, spearheaded by our Lord Yahweh Shah, man. You know, so it says, when Herod the king had heard these things, see, because he he's, he's, he's one of those nobles. This man had power, you know. He was up there. He was he was part of that um. That upper echelon, man. You know, he was giving them the dominion, you know, over, you know, over that, uh, you know, uh, territory, you know, Judea and all that. You know, so when he got this, when he heard these things, he was troubled in all Jerusalem with him. See, so the wicked, they, they are troubled, man, because of this message of the, the king is coming. It's about to be a new regime. And it's not like this devil's about to fall to number two, man. You know, you number two on the ranking list. Now, no, you actually going to fall under our feet, man. You know, you actually going to go into your lot, pretty much. You know what I mean? So this back song, I mean, it's like Isaiah 50 sound in 20. It said, but the wicked are like the troubled sea. See? So he is troubled, man, because of this message. It said, when it cannot rest, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. See, so this man, he cannot rest. You know? He's not He's not um, at ease. You can tell this man, he's supposed to be in power, man. He's supposed to be ruling. His face on the money. You speaking his language. But this nigga ain't at rest, man. It said, whose waters cast up mire and dirt. And yeah, and that's that that uh, is that's confusing, man. He's stirring up all this shit, man. He reaching, you know. Why? Because he's at his last end. It says there is no peace, said my power to the wicked. See, ain't no peace to this devil. He can't get no rest now. You know that's just like um somebody force you to wake, stay up. You trying to you trying to get at least a fifteen minute nap. And you got somebody to continue to wake you up. But that's what you see now, by the way, these um these alerts keep going off. By the way, you know, YouTube continue to prophesy. Oh, it tells you on. Uh, matter of fact, let's get that real quick. Cause it tells you we're not gonna stop till he's consumed, man. This is 2 Samuel 22. And um and 38, it said, I have pursued my enemies and destroyed them. And turn not again. See, he, he's not going to turn back. He's not going to let down. You know. It's it. And turn not again until I have consumed them. See, so pretty much 
you know, these devils is, is pretty much, we, we're not giving this man no rest. We continually crying out, man. You know? So we're, we're not going to turn back. We're not going to just be settled here in America. No, we're going to continue to push to this man as consumed. And we see he's being consumed now. Like I said, by the way, if his media, you know, you got this word mandatory man thrown around, you know. Oh, he got he got the troops here on U.S. soil, man. So to let you know that this man is troubled, man. Why? Because of this message, this word. And you see when this word comes forth, things happen, man. You know? Things happen when this word comes forth, man. You know? So matter of fact, uh, it's book of Job 20. Because at the end of the day, all this planning, you know, all these governors you went through, presidents and senators, these laws and legislation that you passed, guess what? It's going to come tonight, man. You know? It's going to come tonight. And the next step you're going to use is by the way of the military. They'll let you know Esau is at his, his last end. He, you know, this nigga, he continued to lie. And you caught on to his lies. This nigga ran out of lies. So what's the next step? The sword, man. You know? So this is, um, this is, um, Joel 20. And, um, uh, let me jump up. Joel 20, I started 18. He said, that which he laid before shall he restore. See? And shall not swallow it down. See? So this nigga has been hoarding up different resources throughout the planet Earth. He ain't getting time to enjoy it, man. He's still spoiling, man. He's still dealing treacherously, man. So when that time comes when he's going to so-called try to crown his his um his enterprise success, he's gonna he's gonna restore it, man. Cause really he getting all of these resources for us, man. The gold, the silver, the precious stones, precious minerals of the planet Earth. He's really getting it for us, man. He said, according to his substance shall the restitution be, and he shall not rejoice therein. See? So this, this lets you know this man is, you know, this is one of the reasons why he's troubled, man. Because the aftermath, man. After everything's said and done, you know, all this shit he's been working for is going to come tonight. You know, like I said, he's not just going to fall to rank two, number two on the ranking list. No, this nigga going to be at the very bottom, man. It's because he have oppressed and have forsaken the poor because he have violently taken away in house which he built and not, see? And that's what this man did. This is how he always got now. You know? It says, surely he should not feel quietness in his belly. See, meaning what? This man is not, he's not at rest, man, in his mind, man. Why? Because we read his judgment, man. See, this is court now for the so-called white man. You know, he's been brought up on all these charges, what he have done, all the way back since the serpent, since Cain, man. You know, all these charges that's being brought out on this man, you know. So, he he's pretty much... This nigga up all night trying to offset the prophecies. You got think tanks, you know, simulations and shit like that. You know, you continue to try to upgrade your military, by the way, the Space Force, you know. So you, you, <clears throat> you're not at ease in your mind, man. And that's the first steps of this devil um, falling, man. Because now he's being smite with man. See, the curse is being turned to him. And one of those curses being played in the heart. And now he's been played in the heart, man. It says, surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired. And what's that? The new world order, man. Because ultimately, that's what we're saying. He's not going to win. You know? <clears throat> he's not going to. We tell him what plays he's going to make. And he's making them. You know? It get to the point that's the only thing he can do, you know, is, is do what we say. Because the scripture said that. It tells you that whoever resisted his will, you know. So it's going to get to the point where this man going to have to kick in your doors. Throw you into these concentration camps. Why? Because the scripture say that. Because that's the only avenue he's going to have to take, man. But at the end of the day, it tells you he's not going to save that which he desired, man. You know. 
So this man pretty much understands that he's at his, his very end. And that's why you see all this commotion going on. You know? That's why you see this man tossing and turning. Pretty much he having a temper tantrum. That's why I go back with it said um uh he he's he's um those those ways is tossing up the mire and dirt. That's a temper tantrum, man. You know? Because he knows he's at his end, his his last end, man. Yo, this is Jeremiah 5 22 it said, Fear ye not me, said the Lord. Will ye not tremble at my presence? See? And 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 and, and you you should be trembling, man. At the presence of your how about smell shot, which is this message being brought forth by the prophets, man. You know, when we when we bring out these prophecies, that's the presence of your how about smell shot, man. It says, which have placed the sand for the bound of the sea by a perpetual decree that it cannot pass it. See? So we tell you that you 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 have uh, pretty much reached your climax. You know? You know, you have reached your climax. We at we it is your time to fall now, man. It said, and though the ways of the rose toss themselves, yet can they not prevail. See, you tossing yourselves, you stirring off all this commotion. You reaching, you know, you end up milking, you know what I mean? You end up uh, 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 pushing that the common cold is the worst thing ever, man. You tossing your sails, man. But it said, yet they, can they not prevail? See, it said, though they roar, yet can they not pass over? See, you roaring. Oh, that's why Esau, when he was on, um, he was weeping, man. For that, he, he, you got another blessing for me, Father? Out of all this, you and did all this shit, you know, and you still warm, man. You know, by the way of your laws, your media. But guess what? You ain't going to be able to pass that bound, man. You're not going to be able to pass that, those bounds, man. Your time is up, man. You have ran your course, you know? But you see that this devil, he's not um, he's not at ease in his mind. This man is very troubled. You know, a so-called white man, especially the ones that's really in power, ain't talking about the Joseph Pat, the ones that's really in the know. They catching the most hell right now, man. You know, because they un they understand what's at stake. See, you know, just regular old people, they ain't gotta believe what we saying. But the elites do though. Why? Because is is that's those are two the the two candidates for um um rulership. You know, global rulership. Some that's we actually dealing with some that's um you know dealing with the uh, ruling the planet Earth. You know, this got something to do with ruling the whole planet Earth rulership. You know, so this why this man is taking it serious, man. You know, matter of fact, uh, let me get one more, two more pre sales, then I'm gonna end it off. Let's see, uh, let's see, uh, yeah, this is it. This is uh, Ecclesiastes, Sirach 41 and 1. It says, O death, how bitter is the remembrance of thee to a man that liveth at rest in his possessions, unto the man that have nothing to vex him. And to have prosperity in all things, yet unto him that is yet able to receive meat. See, so pretty much, you know, this is a this is builder unto this devil, man. You know, why? Because he was at rest. He was at his bed, man. He was in his bed, man. He was at rest. He ain't had no problem. He ain't had to look over his shoulders, but now he is. See, now he got to think about it now. Now he had to consider these things. And that's what you see now by the Crown Vic, you know, by these match scenes. Like I said, this, that word mandatory has been thrown around, you know. So now he understands that that bitterness is settling in now. He's not at peace no more, man. You know, because of this word, man. See, this word stirred things up. You know, just like we just read when Harold got that message, he was troubled. This nigga end up selling the military, man, to kill babies, man. The, the the male, the male, the males, two and under, man. 
This is this how this how much this word stir up stir up things, man. You know. So now he's considering this bitter death, man. And that's why you said you got you got the crown nineteen, you got the mat scenes. Oh, they the the the, the uh, oh the the crown vic and um morphing is a new strand of the crown vic, man. These lockdowns, you know, shortage of food. See, all this is an effort to. To prevent this man from dying, which is really his rulership, you know, in his rulership, man, you know, but it's all due to this word, you know, words do hurt. So let's see, um, let's just get to the point on this. This is, um, Wisdom Solomon 2, and, um, I started verse 14. He was made to reprove our thoughts. See? And who was that? The prophets, man. We were reproving with this devil. Um, oh, it tells you that in Psalms 50, the Lord said he's going to reprove him. You thought that the Lord was all together with you, but the Lord's going to end up reproving you. You off. You got to go. You know? It says he is grievous unto us even to behold. See? Meaning what? When they they actually, these devils actually watch us, man. You know? By the way, you know, YouTube, they might ride around by the camp. But they even have people watching for them. And they get, it, they get another, you know what I mean? Message saying, yeah, they called you out again, Bill. Bill Gates. You know? But we are grievous unto him, even to behold. So they let you know he's watching us. And, 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 and you read up on this to tell you that we are not for his turn, man. We actually tell you it's our turn. You know, and you know when you read Genesis 27, this selfish nigga, man, he gave us his birthright, but still expect some, you know what I mean, from Isaac. He blaming Isaac for the birthright because, you know what I mean? No, man, you gave it up. It was, it was, a, it was your fault that you did that, man. But pretty much at the end of the day, he knows what's going to happen at the, you know, when the smoke, when the dust settles and the smoke clears. You know, he's going to slavery. You know, ultimately, he's going to be a um, Obadiah, the 18th verse, man. You know, they so fascinated by dinosaurs. They're going to be the new dinosaur. They're going to be extinct, you know. But they are troubled in the mind. The Bible said, he is grievous unto us even to behold. Why? Because we're not. That's that drop sound in his ears, man. We're not coming to tell this man, you got another 50 more years, man. We're not telling him, let's just, let's just go in on the kingdom together. No, man. We tell him that at the end of the day, this kingdom is going to go down the violent way. He's going to be pulled out of these pits, you know, these different bunkers and space stations and underwater, underground cities, underwater cities, you know, and he's going to be the first fruits of slaves, man. And after everything, you get your ass beat for them thousand years, then over that 18th verse, man. You know, so this is why this man is troubled because he's trying to prevent that, man. But it's already set in stone what's going to happen. You know, so yeah, I can I just hold the edit family to give all praise and glory to you. How old, Bosh? Hemi, how old, Bosh? Hemi, how old, Bosh? Double honors to the Protestant elders, the great millstone. Let's see, Shalom to the elect, the T word, and our true faith and sincerity. DTA, a Bible ball.